Hi, it's Joel from Dykem Electric. We're going to go over uh, resetting a GFI. It's actually probably our number two troubleshoot call because a lot of times it'll trip and it'll kill another circuit down the line, which means uh, turn off. So essentially, these GFIs could protect somewhere down the line so the wire could go down and go to another receptacle. So all of a sudden, your receptacle in another location will stop working. So you're allowed to do that because you're allowed to run it off the load side of this GFI. So it'll be a wire feeding it directly from the panel, and then on the other side, it will be protected by this GFI device. So right now, we got uh, the customer's uh, little plug-in uh, device there. It's uh, just to show uh, that we still have power. So there's power there, and then if you look, we, uh, we could trip it which you should test once a month, and then the power goes off and it shows as if it's uh, unplugged. So that trips this plug, so either one, it'll show that it's off. So it's off again still. So essentially, um, we just have to push the reset button. So there's a few different ones that have lights on them. This is a bit older one, it's not tamper resistant either. So uh, we'll just reset that. We should test it monthly. So you push in the red button till it clicks, and if it's not clicking, the breaker could actually be tripped in um, the basement, which we have a video for as well, or it could be a defective GFI, and you should get that replaced as soon as possible because it's protecting things near your sink, and you don't want things to be in there that you don't notice a cord, even a cord hitting uh, water could uh, trip uh, or uh, electrocute you. So this essentially is for this type of situation where there is a cord near it and it might be a little bit gashed and you're washing your hands in here and it could actually uh, shock you. So this will read a 5 milliamp current between the hot, hot and neutral and it'll shut off the GFI. So any of these plugs and anything on the load side that's running out of that receptacle. So essentially, yes, we just had to reset it. So that's how you test it. It clicks out and then you push it back in to reset it. Again, I get this all the time. So essentially, uh, that's all you have to do. And you might have to go bathroom to bathroom to bathroom. And this also works for an outside receptacle. So sometimes one GFI will protect all the outside receptacles. I don't like doing that personally. I'll buy a bunch of GFIs. So they all have their own GFI. So somebody doesn't have to run around and call an electrician in and find out what's going on. They're all confused. So if they have a GFI on each plug, it's a bit more expensive uh, for me, but uh, I'd rather have that so they don't have to search around and call me back in and I got to charge it for a service call. So essentially, uh, again, this might be protecting another plug somewhere else, maybe in the other bathroom. So if it's tripped, then that plug will be out. So all you have to do, if you have power out in another bathroom, you might just have to push that reset button. Once it clicks in, there you go, you get power again. Again, it works for an outside plug as well. So that's a little bit of a short story on how the GFI works and how to reset it and uh, how to save some money by doing uh, the stuff yourself. So again, uh, trips, test it always. That uh, puts in a five milliamp uh, resistance and it will actually make the plug think that there's a little GFI trip. So uh, we'll reset it back in there and turn everything, every plug back on and then we're good to go. So again, if you have any uh, comments or questions, just give us uh, a comment or uh, go to www.delectric.ca and uh, submit a form just asking about the GFI uh, or give us a call if you're in the Ottawa area. So hopefully that helped and uh, give you a little bit of light on the situation. If you have a trip GFI, look up this video and uh, it should help you out.